I'm going to be drilling into these large glass jars from Anchor Hawking using a diamond crusted drill bit to make my own lamps. I get started using Play-Doh of all things to form a small circle that will hold water around the drill area. You'll see when I drill, I put water into the little Play-Doh dish and then I start at an angle with my drill bit. Um, this is to just make a mark in the glass and I continuously switch out the water because you want to keep the drill bit um, cool. So I gradually move my drill bit upward, starting at an angle and moving it to straight. And then as I go, I kind of move my drill bit in small circles to really get down into the glass. Drilling through glass is definitely a slow going process. So just take your time be sure to learn all about it before you start. You can see that I finally break through here and then it's time to just clean up with a towel that play-doh and water residue. Now I'm going to be modifying the aluminum cap that screws onto the top of the jar. I start by drilling a small hole I can use a wire nippers to um, cut through that aluminum and kind of get a large enough opening for my lamp hardware. That was also kind of a process. Uh, be careful not to cut yourself on the metal. Um, so then I'm using E6000 glue to put my little ring that's gonna um, allow me to screw in my lamp. I let that dry overnight. Then I'm running my cord through the hole that I drilled in the glass. and I'm putting together my, my lamp hardware now. This is actually a hanging lamp that I got from Ikea um, and I converted it into use for this lamp um, using a tutorial that I found on YouTube. This lamp hardware is called the Hema, H-E-M-M-A, and um, I can link to the YouTube tutorial for how to take that apart in the description, but right now you can see me just putting it back together. Be sure all your cords are connected to the right places and do not attempt electrical work unless you are confident you know what you're doing. And then this piece is going to screw into the aluminum cap and we'll be able to screw the whole thing onto the jar. Time for the light bulb and now I'm using one of those like clamps you can attach your lampshade onto the light bulb. I could also use a Unifit lampshade but I wanted the lampshade to sit a little higher that's why I bought one of these. So we're just screwing down that finial and we are ready to go. I think this looks really cute, but I am going to fill it up with something for seasonal decor. I'm going to put these painted white pine cones in there for winter, and I love this design because you can switch out your decorations seasonally. I also want to show you what I did with some faux flowers. These ones match the colors in my living room with the teal and I just filled them up in the glass um, vase and looks really cute. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and hit that share button if you're on Facebook or subscribe if you are on YouTube.